welcome back. We are now in the kitchen, and we don't need a campfire for this next recipe. No. But we are making some s'mores pie today with Melissa Graves. Melissa, you can oh, definitely. So I know good. when I brought it in, everybody was ooing and on, and we've had some samplers already, and I think <laughs> I was, I've got enough for everybody. So come on over, uh, and we have this on the buffet today. I thought this was, you know, I said it's summer. The kids are home, and this would be something really easy to help let them throw together. Yeah. So in this bowl, I have a stick of butter softened and okay, three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And you sugar. can get out the mixer, but it never makes for good TV, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> and then I have one egg. One egg, okay. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. I'll just kind of gently stir that, because I definitely want to show you the trick to making this crust. Then I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, a cup of um, graham cracker crumbs. Ooh, did you hand crush those? Uh, well, I put them in my Ninja. You know how oh, I like to do Oh, yeah, that's smart. And then I, I had a cup of flour. You can buy them already done, but it is a little more expensive. Yeah. So uh -huh. this is well, the, that might be something you put some graham crackers in the bag, maybe get a kid to kind of like yeah. whack them with the rolling pin mm. or something. Or does that turn into a big mess? Well, it. it <laughs> After the bag breaks, <laughs> See, clearly I don't have any kids, so I don't know. And, and, yeah, we, that we, we have we have broken things at home like that before. <laughs> um, it does so don't work. Don't my advice. <laughs> I, I, I love the ninja. I may have That's to get smart. credit I never from them. To put it in there. So uh, a brownie pan, like I've got okay. here, or a pie plate. And so you're going to have this dough. You're going to break it in half, and half of it we're going to press down in this pan. Oh, that's perfect. I should have let you do that and I should have sprayed my hands. If you have some pan spray, this do will go first. Yeah. a little bit easier. Okay. Spray your hands with it and then that way you can. So after you get it smoothed out, let me bring it over here because okay. that's a long reach and we only have a few minutes and I want to show you this trick. Um, you're going to layer your chocolate bars. Oh, this is not smoothing, but we're going to for good TV enough. sake. Good enough. Okay. Yes. So we're, I'll let you throw okay. these chocolate bars on. You don't have to layer them. Does it have them. to be like perfect? Mm -mm. Okay. No, and let me have this pan liner here. But I'm still going to make them in a line. You're not going to make a mess. So <laughs> if you don't have six candy bars laying around, um, I, you could use two cups of chocolate chips. Yep. So this is the trick for the top of the crust. So we're going to layer these in about seven ounces of marshmallow cream. I did make some earlier with just a bag of marshmallows. Mm -hmm. And so if you will do this and spread this out, using your hand, let me move that so oh, you can okay. see. okay, double wax paper there. Yeah, and you're just going to smooth this out to fit your pan. Perfect. And you can use a roller, but this is where the kids would come in handy. And their hands don't get messy yeah, either. Yeah, nobody's going to get dirty, and you're not going to have this all over your kitchen. Perfect. But then when you get done, you peel Got this that ready off. ready to go. You're going to smooth your marshmallow cream on, flip this over the top, pinch the edges, and if it's in a pie plate, it'll actually look like a pie. Perfect. And you're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 for 20 minutes, and then it says to let it cool, but I don't think you can. I know. When we got and it out of the oven at product. work, it was wow. like, wow, this will knock you down. Oh my goodness, looks amazing. Thank and you. And we'll put the recipe up so you guys can give it a go for yourself. Coming up, who knew your cruise vacation could be so beneficial?